Good morning, everyone. It is Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and I am here today out at Pasco Safety Town. So what we're gonna be bringing for you today, this incredible group of kids ages four to eight today are going to be taking a tour of our safety town. Let's see what we can get into. <laughs> So at Safety Town, it's a small miniature version of basically all of the important spots in Pasco County that kids should be exposed to to help them better understand the functions of life. So they learn boating safety, they learn how to call 911 if there's been an emergency and there are no adults around. So they have a Suncoast Bank, they have the Pasco County Animal Services Center, uh, the Feral Roofing Company, we have a courthouse as well, there's a fire station so they learn about fire safety, station, fire safety. Um, there's also a Smokey the Bear cabin so they learn about like campfire safety and everything too so it's, it's incredible the exposure that these kids get and what they learn from just spending a couple hours here. Remember when I was early in elementary school, um, I did the same sort of thing. So it's really cool to see it come like full circle and how like it has evolved and that there are more than one like parks like this. Cause the one I went to, we're out in Pasco County off of 52, um, like 52 in the Sun Coast, and this is, you know, Pasco Safety Town, but the one I went to, I don't recall, but it was out in Tampa and Hillsboro over by Laurie Park Zoo, so that's just really cool. I was saying, so you got these three items here that might be out there right now, the big item, this thing on my hip. What is this on my hip? I don't. Yell it out there, what is this? Ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir. Right. Crayola. Yeah. A gun, right? So if you see a gun laying around, are you gonna pick it up? No. Alright, now that's pretty important. If you see a gun laying around, are you going to pick it up? No! I can't hear you. No! If you see any of these other items, are you going to pick it up? No! Good. So the first rule on all these items is this. You leave it alone, okay? What's the first rule? Leave it alone! Great, great. Now the second rule is you need to tell somebody about it. And that would be the instructor, okay? So here you want to tell the instructor. So the first rule is to leave it alone, the second rule is to... Tell the instructor! Hear it again, give me that last one, go ahead, go. Tell the instructor! Alright, if you do those two things, you've actually earned yourself something. And that thing that you've earned... A safety town bag! Yes. You can't take safety town, but we can give you a badge. Alright? That pretty cool? Alright, now parents, now remember, this is for the kids. We want them to be able to spot these things. So we also are preparing them for muscle memory when it comes to observing what's going on in their environment. So, please do not help them, okay? Good morning, you safety towers. Good morning. I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's come together so you can hear me. Okay. Fire, okay. sheriff, ambulance, poison. That's what we would call 911. Right. 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 That would be exactly right. Now, do we have an emergency anywhere here? Yeah. Uh-oh. Look at there's a fellow that's all down. What should we do if there is no adult, no adult here? Preston? Preston, you're going to call, boys? Okay. This is the phone number here. You can read that? Okay. So you pick up the phone and you call. 
Thank you for calling 911. I'll get him to the hospital. He'll be okay. okay. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's okay, go. Here we go. Boom. Let's We're do this. Here. No seatbelts? I mean, I'm just, I don't know. No, no seatbelts. No seatbelts? No, okay. No. no, we gotta jump in and out of this thing too much. You gotta go, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're saving people in the ambulance. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> came through this door just yeah. to record the Smokey the Bear cabin and this man scared the living daylights out of me in this corner. See it. Oh, eyes open. He was a super detective. Here it is. We know never to touch these, right? They're very dangerous. But you, my friend, have kept people safe. Hey everyone, so I have Corporal Bullock, who's actually one of the main individuals that's in charge of actually one of what's going on around here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so Hi everybody, I'm Corporal Bullock. Boom. I'm the coordinator out here at Safety Town. There you go. And he is going to tell us just a bit, break down what the kids actually do learn besides boating safety, which I've mentioned so many times, what they learn when they come out to safety town. So what, what do they get into? Well, boating safety is one of them, but it's, we call it water safety for the entire uh, area over there that they learn. Okay. They're learning boat safety, learning safety water safety as well. Safety, okay. Right. Uh, they learn techniques about getting in a boat, getting mm -hmm. out of a boat, the proper ways to do it, That's how to awesome. save someone's life in the pool. Um, we got so many of the things they learn. Mm -hmm. How to dial 911, mm -hmm. what to say when the operator asks them about um, where, their where location they're at, that. what's mm -hmm. the injury. Mm -hmm. uh, it also reinforces not to go and help the person because there might be a stranger danger issue. So we try to reinforce phone call first mm -hmm. and then that would be the actual life. Keep your distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fantastic, you know. I know there's uh, fire safety as we well. We fire safety. Okay. Yeah. Fire safety, the kids are learning. There's two. We try to reinforce it in two different places, mm -hmm. if not three. Fire safety is 
stop, drop, cover, and roll if they mm -hmm. get themselves out and be on fire while doing a campfire or a spot hits them and it lights their pants up. Hey, stop, that, drop down, cover your eyes, and roll. Don't stand up and run around because the oxygen will get you. Exactly. If I know some of our followers might not know that, so there's a little fun fact for you. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when you're in panic mode, you freak you out. You freak you know? out, yes. <laughs> what else? There's um, Stranger Danger. Yep. I saw a bit of that. Yep, Stranger Danger. We uh, we teach the kids uh, under a park like setting that uh, if someone approaches them with an offering of a candy, a dog, or hey, your mom is hurt and they need help. We try to go over, cover a lot of the ground rules, but the main thing is if you don't know the person, you don't, don't go with them. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's pretty beneficial for these kids. And then exactly. we have them yell and vocalize like, stranger, danger, mm -hmm. you know? And then uh, it's worked out pretty well for us. So there's a lot. I, I mean, I've been walking around. You guys have seen the footage, but there's helicopter safety, there's seatbelt safety, safety, school bus safety. There's a lot of different mm -hmm. things that these kids learn out here at Safety Town. Yeah, and the best thing is it's all it's all free. There's, it's a not-for-profit exactly. company. I mean, I'm paid for by the sheriff's office. That's his investment into the community. Mm -hmm. But this program wouldn't survive if it wasn't community-based. 100% uh, of the proceeds that we get stay here at Safety Town. Exactly. It's not a typical 10% charity. You know, it's a hundred percent. So we're pretty happy about that. Hashtag Pasco Proud. Once again, guys, as always. But yeah, so I mean, if any of your kids have ever, you know, come out to Safety Town before, leave a comment below. If you think your kids should go out to Safety Town, what? Tell a teacher, tell a principal. Yeah, if they're in this area, they can, if it's a Pasco County school, they just tell the teacher and the teacher can assign it through our Google Calendar, Boom. which is interactive with the school okay. system. But if it's an outside of the county, which we've had Levi County come down here to, at Yankee Town, they have three counties up. Okay. Um, and they, you know, they, they were able. As a matter of fact, they couldn't afford the busing, so the community all participated in getting that ability to, for that bus to be hired to come on I down. Love it. Sixty kids that day it was fantastic. Love it. But uh, come on down. Call us come. if you got to call us. Hey, call Boom. us at eight one three nine two nine one two zero three. And I will put that number. for you guys right here, as always. But yeah, thank you, Corporal Bullock, for giving thank us you. info. I appreciate it. That's not creepy in any way, shape, or form. That's not, that's, we're gonna walk away. Yes, hurt is an understatement. So that wraps up today at Pasco Safety Town. The kids and teachers and chaperones are getting in the bus. They are headed out. Like if you're a teacher or you know some sort, you're working with kids of some sort and you would like to figure out more information about how to get your kids out here to Pasco Safety Town, leave me a comment below. I will get you in contact with Corporal Bullock or I'll get you the phone number of who you need to reach out to because I think everyone should get to experience this at some point. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all of the support. Welcome to all of our new followers. I know it's a little late in the video, but I appreciate all of you. We all do, and I'll see you next time.